Uh, today's flag day, as you well know, the day the Stars and Stripes were formally adopted as the flag of the United States. Huh. Ben Simino is live in Midtown with more. There's a flag right there. Unfortunately, it's at half mass. And don't forget, it's on a sunny day, so obviously this is file footage of a flag. Uh, wait, uh, Ben, do you have some well, real Greg and Rosanna. Flags? Yes. Yes, indeed. Before you go, I have a flag day quiz for you. Today, oh, June 14th yeah, where, uh, marks the uh, official adoption of the United States flag, also the birthday of the Army. Which one is older? The, the, wait. The Army's so... Wait, 1777, and the army is like 234. Uh, I got it. Uh, uh, the flag is older. No. Uh. The army is two years older. The army is 1775, making it 238 years old. The flag, uh, 1777, so it's 236 years old. I knew it was a trick in... question. I knew it yeah. was a trick yeah. question. Ben never got around to serving in the army, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get back to that in a second. I want to get it, bring in Lieutenant Colonel Dwight Webster uh, with the U.S. Army. Reti you're retired, sir. Yes. Uh, we appreciate you being out here this morning with us. And you're going to give us a little bit of a background. Uh, we have 14 flags lined up here uh, that kind of uh, symbolize the progression of the U.S. flag. Tell us about some of these remarkable flags. Well, the flags existed way back when the colonies were here. And you'll notice when you look at the flags that so many of them were before the national flags came into existence. Like that don't tread on me flag. We have a couple of these yeah. flags back here. Uh, if you guys can hold out the don't tread on me flag. Uh, well, that's the Betsy Ross flag. I'll let uh, this, Tommy this, go by there. This was the first national flag, often called the Betsy Ross flag, because that was the first one adopted in 1777 when there were 13 states that had been the 13 colonies, which is why you have the 13 stars. And then over the years and decades since then, we had many changes where more states were added to the Union. And as you notice on the flags, you have more stars and then more stars. And Colonel, what does Flag Day mean to you? Okay, to me as an Army veteran, Flag Day is the most important day that I can think of other than the Army birthday, of course. Which is the same day. Yes, which is the same day. Now, because it is Flag Day, that stands for the United States of America. And also, it stands for the freedom and the liberty of our country. Colonel, thank you very much. But as we go back to you guys, Greg and Rosanna, I want to leave you with a bit of the sounds here of the New York City Transit Pipe and Drum Corps. They're going to play us out here as we toss it back to uh, Greg and Rosanna in the studio. Thank you so much for your service for Fox 5. Yes, indeed. I'm sorry. I wasn't in the Army either, so uh, just yeah. easy enough. Yeah, yeah. All right, see you, Ben. All right, when we come back, we're going to tell you... I was in the Marine Corps. <laughs> Slightly superior to the Army. A, you're going to get a timeout in two seconds. I have a feel. Time I, have a, out. I have a feeling. Go to the corner. We're going to come right back. Advice. Whoa, you, whoa, whoa. Go, you're go, not the boss. You're not <laughs> I'm the boss of you. All right. We'll be right back. Okay.